Hello, I'm Trevor Weeks. I'm the founder and operations director of East Sussex Wildlife Rescue and Ambulance Service. 2022 has proven to be a very difficult year for the wildlife of East Sussex. Unfortunately, with Rogers Wildlife Rescue having closed down at Brighton, um, the bird flu, which has caused havoc across the county this year, and also with the blistering hot weather of the summer, making it really a disastrous year for our local wildlife. Over 90% of our casualties are either directly or indirectly as a result of human activity. Cat and dog attacked wildlife, persecution by humans, pollution, entanglements in netting and fencing, wildlife falling and becoming trapped in basements, um, window strikes, road and railway casualties, as well as the orphans that are created by them. Now they also have to face the effects of global warming, as our wildlife struggles to find enough food to feed their young during the baking hot summers, as well as wildlife struggling to hibernate properly due to the mild winters. If RAS did not exist, around 5,000 casualties a year would end up being either euthanized or being left to slowly die and suffer. 26 years ago, East Sussex Wildlife Rescue was launched as a local community group to change the fortunes of our local wildlife and prevent this suffering. It's estimated that over 70,000 casualties have been helped as a result of RAS since it started in 1996. Our wildlife is part of our local community, it's part of our heritage, it's good for our mental health and we can teach our children patience, respect and compassion in life. It would be a sad world without our wildlife and an ecological disaster. Our local wildlife is at risk. Many local rescues have closed down. Too small to cope with the huge demand, the financial pressures and emotional toll running such an organisation brings. East Sussex RAS is important to our heritage and wildlife conservation. The charity has a huge benefit to the local community, providing an emergency veterinary ambulance service, supporting people who find sick, injured, orphaned and trapped animals. Every year we expand and develop more and more facilities, trying to cope with the workload. But we've hit a brick wall. We can't expand any further. We can't expand without setting up a new centre. Our wildlife lives are hanging in the balance. Without a new centre, more and more casualties are not going to get the second chance of life and returning back to the wild, which they deserve. Our wildlife is dependent on us, on RAS's dedicated staff and volunteers, and our ability to help provide professional veterinary care and support where needed. We need you to help support us in 2023 and ensure the future and conservation of our wildlife for generations to come. Thank you.